Hello everyone and welcome to another video blog post of Jeff for Banks. I usually do these when something is either on my mind or I lack time to uh, write things down. But today I would like to talk to you about anchors. Most of you know that I was in the Navy, so therefore the C reference is uh, relevant uh, to me. Anchors are those type of people that you surround yourself with that tend to bring you down. And I found myself talking about this with my kids often and my family, that if you surround yourself with people that are anchors, you know, it tends to guide where you go uh, in life. But I do think there's a lot of applicability in banking, particularly you know, in our changing environment. You know, anchors, the people you can identify by the use of the words that they use, can't versus how can we? The system won't let us versus what can the system do? She's not ready versus she can do it. And the mother flag of all anchors, we've always done it that way. Many of you've heard that and I know you have. Some examples, for example, you know, your family, instead of applauding your successes, they bring out the Mr. or Miss Big Shot comment. Not immediately, so they don't appear petty, but it's always in their back pocket, ready to come out at you at some point in time. Anchors. In our culture, when we tend to blame others for someone's troubles, right? It's not you, it's the ghost over there behind the tree. Anchors. And the avant-garde of the status quo at, at your bank. You know, a bank influencer once asked me, how do you know when doing bank process reviews, who, who owns the process? Whoever, and my answer is, whoever objected to us being there the most, that's who, anchors. But having demonstrated anchor behavior in the past, me, uh, I grew up in uh, a town where there's just, you always resorted to the negative. So I, I've had some anchor behavior in the past myself. There is, there is redemption, right? And I think the first piece of redemption for the anchors at your financial institution is honesty. Be candid. Don't bring a problem to me without a suggested solution, or at least say, here's a problem, I'm gonna work on a solution. Don't lay it in somebody's lap, say, here's a problem, I'm out, right? Be honesty, be candid with them. They probably don't know they're demonstrating anchor behavior. Give them actual training and practice. Anchorage is actually a habit, and habits can be broken, right? And they must be broken. What is it, 30 days, three weeks to, to break a habit? So actual training and practice to remove yourself of being an anchor, right? And then as a leader of somebody who is demonstrating anchor behavior, positive affirmation when they serve as engines versus anchors. Point it out to them, hey, that's engine behavior, not anchor behavior. I'm really giving you this Navy, this Navy reference here. And if none of that works, if none of that works for the anchors that are bringing you down, perhaps your ship should weigh anchor and leave port without them. Anchors, people. It's your job as leaders to turn them into engines, and if they cannot be redeemed, leave port without them.